Hello, my friends. Darkness has fallen. I don't actually remember what challenge this is, but it's probably pretty good. Oh, look, we're Eve. And we got a bunch of, like, scary things. And we're actually dealing damage before we're the Horror Babylon, so... I mean, what else do you want? That's pretty much the perfect Eve. We got some sort of sacrificial blade. We can shoot tears and things. We're, we can we can't actually shoot tears, but you know, it's always kind of nice when we're capable of doing that. There's a whole bunch of coins over there. There's at least two locked doors already on the first basement floor, which is always fun, of course. Who doesn't love lock things on basement one with the very real possibility that none of these doors are going to get opened? Love it. And our boss room's all the way over there already. So uh, if this room doesn't give us either a key or a bomb, we're kind of useless, but fair enough. We got the razor blade, which I believe we can use. I don't know how many hearts you use when you use it, but I feel like you probably use a full red heart. Or just a full heart, rather. And then you deal more damage for the rest of that room. Yeah, look at that. We actually got a thing. The thing is now... Uh, one of these doors is... A shop, and one of these is something else. I don't know which one's which, but the shop would be completely useless right now. So, I'm gonna open that, and we're gonna get Bob's Rotten Head instead. Uh, did we find... I mean, we did find, like, the thing, the coins, so we can blow that up, definitely. We could try to look for our secret room, but if we miss it once, we won't be able to find it again. But I'm guessing it's to the left of here, but I'm just gonna be safe and just blow this up right here. Because that seems like a good idea. And didn't I was kind of hoping that this bomb block would blow up, but there you go. It worked out. We got 10 coins, and in the next floor, we can probably use those. And we're fighting Jamini. And indeed, we use a full heart when we do that. But we're the Horde of Babylon right now, and we should be dealing a little bit more damage as well. We got the dead bird on our side. And all in all, this pretty nice thing that we got going on over here. We got some decent damage. We got some death. The scary stuff is making this guy go away, which is always a good thing, because he's very scary. He could kill us oh so easily. And because of that half a heart, we uh, immediately lose the Horror Babylon effect. But it does make it a little bit safer. Plus, we did get the uh, growth hormones, I believe. I think that's the thing we picked up. Which makes us deal a little bit more damage. We're walking a little bit faster. All in all, life's pretty great right now. I'm actually going to go into my arcade room to see what's up. Apparently just three coins, but at least we made a profit, so that's good. Let's see if we can find some tins of rocks somewhere over here. That'll actually be quite appreciated right about now. Because our health situation with Eve is... While it's better than Judas, it's not the best in the world. It's not the worst in the world, but it's not the best in the world. And I also wouldn't mind a key. Because there is still that shop that I want to open up, and I want to see what's inside. I want to see what it hides, and I want to open it for its great treasures. But instead, we're only getting bombs, which is also not bad, obviously. But, oh man, that's so sad. I completely miss that attack, and then I got hit for no real apparent reason. But that does mean that we have the Horror Babylon effect available for the boss. We got ourselves a Joker card, which was surprisingly difficult to pick up, apparently. And I'm going to see if I can bomb myself into this room. Because that doesn't seem like too bad of an idea. Let's see if we can get another coin from these fires. So we're at a nice 15. And apparently not. No soul hearts either, which is kind of unfortunate. But what are you going to do? We're going to see if there is a thing over here. And I would be very happy. And I am now very happy. Oh, and a book of secrets. Which could be good. I'd rather still have this, personally, so I'm keeping it with that. Even though the mapping is probably better than the Razor Blade if we don't find any health anywhere, but, eh, whatever. That's probably fine. And that's a little bit of extra mun mun, so whatever is being sold in the shop, we should be able to buy it. And I like that. An extra heart, so we don't have to worry so much, but we, again, lost our Horror Babylon effect. And the battery, which is entirely useless with this item because that is an item which gives you like plus one blip to recharge when you like use an item and this this item doesn't need recharging so there you go monstro well that could be kind of annoying if it jumps around too much but other than that it's probably not going to be too bad gonna use a sacrificial dagger to deal as much damage as possible try and destroy him hope that he doesn't land on my face when he's scared like that but we can still see the shadow like barely like the shadow is still visible when he jumps around, so we can use that as a reference point as to where to stand. And we actually did get a double deal, so it's not all bad. 
Still got that Joker card as well. Our Devil Deal is not bad. Not bad at all. When you play as Eve, you only need one heart to have the Horror of Babylon effect active. So I'm kind of happy right now because now we're super strong, super fast. We got decent items. How far do we actually have to go? All the way to the womb. Maybe even further. Oh, we might actually have to beat Satan during this one. That could actually be kind of scary, but hopefully it won't be too bad. We got no bombs, so I can't get that soul heart right now. And I can't, I can't get that key. What am I talking about? I can get that key. Easy peasy. Would be nice if we could get some flying though, but we got one guppy piece already. Hopefully we can get two more, but maybe that's a bit too much to ask for in a random just challenge run. But you never know. This is a pretty long one, I do believe. So there's a chance. And we got ourselves a PhD and the possibility to have a lot of tarot cards, and I do like myself some tarot cards every now and again, so let's do it. Tower card, not immediately terrible, but I'm kind of, I mostly just got it so all of our pill drops become tarot cards, because I do find it a little bit nicer when I know exactly what's going to happen. Plus, we still have the possibility of getting soul hearts from like Hierophant cards instead of a Balls of Steel pill, and I don't even know how many pill effects there are anymore in this game. Like, they, I was going to say that... In, the pre in in like the it might be a better idea to have pills just because the odds are better of getting like soul hearts from pills but simultaneously there's like so many different effects now there's like amnesia and puberty and there's just all the negative there's so many negative ones as well it's just a bunch of ugh. A bunch of ugh. I'll take it for, I'll take the safe road especially in a challenge like this where you might actually have to like play good <laughs> and that's uh that's always scary obviously should be looking out for like tint, tinted rocks as well, but I haven't really been looking to them too well. But hopefully we haven't missed any. I'm going to assume that we haven't, and if we have, then, well, we'll probably lose. That single tinted rock was probably our only key to victory, and we have just lost it, which is very sad. Very sad indeed. I'm actually tempted to go for my boss rush, though, because if you, like, get the boss rush item and then use a joker card, then that should, like, stop the boss rush at least, so I might do that. But uh, I don't know. I might just use the Joker card whenever I can and when it's like normal. Like whenever uh, we don't get a Devil Deal basically seems like a fairly decent time to use our Joker card just to see what's in there. Might get an extra item out of it and that would obviously be nice. But we will see. First we're just going to keep on going. Keeping that particular... Uh, thing in mind keeping that curse room in mind because i do kind of want to go there as well gonna be focusing down that one first because he actually got hit by that tower card was hoping i could hit the other one as well because there was a quite a large amount of bombs but apparently it wasn't quite good enough so we got this as long as the other one doesn't dash into me then all's good i guess we're gonna shoot the right one for a while there we go that's one down now there's just one more to focus on didn't even get, like, the item which increases the chance of double bosses. Just got one immediately in the caves, which is not the best luck in the world. But what are you going to do? We're too strong to be taken down with something that easy. And as such, we're just going to go back to that curse room. See what's in there. See if we can get something good. That would be nice. And if we can get something good, then I'm going to be very happy. And then we can all do a little dance. Do a little jig. And wish that we didn't get an item... Uh, in a challenge run, which we still need in our stat sheet, which is uh, the hope. So we might also just get a bunch of spiders and bombs. That's also an option, obviously. Was there anything else in here? Just PhD and battery. Blah, 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 blah. Screw that. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Satanic Bible's good, but I have nine lives. And I might as well use those as well. I'd rather have the extra damage, obviously. Look at those size right now. They're so big. So big. Suicide King in a run where I have the dead cat? Can it really be so? I didn't think that would ever actually occur, but here we are on this moment in our lives. We might actually get a Suicide King usage in this run. It probably will happen, actually. If we can get some soul hearts that's just lying around this floor, I'll probably just keep them on the floor and then use Suicide King and then just... Uh, Get them all again. Plus, we'll have one heart as well. That would also be kind of nice. Yeah, I don't know yet. I don't know when I'm going to use that. But I'm almost certainly going to be using it. Just for the sake of having used it at some point in my life. 
Because let's be honest, we really haven't had an opportunity to actually use it every time we've gotten it so far. We just didn't have lives. We it, we would have just died if we used it, and that wouldn't it wouldn't have been very productive. Take a full heart of damage because I'm good at games. I'm actually gonna use it here, I think. Yeah, I think I might. Because yeah, my health's not so great. Let's do it. And that's a whole bunch of stuff right there. I'm gonna go walk on in here. See what's in that one. There's a bunch of flies. That's a troll bomb, which is kind of nice. I was hoping for that because that chest was a chest and it existed and I wanted it to be opened without me having to use bombs. All in all, we got a whole bunch of junk, but <laughs> it is possible that it actually drops like items as well, which is why it can be good. And in my current situation, it wasn't like super bad or anything. It was just not very like mentionable. <laughs> there wasn't really much to talk about there, but still we got, we finally got a chance to use it and you can now finally kind of have an idea what it does. And we got a hangman card, which means we can fly somewhere. Which is pretty neat. But yeah, sometimes it can drop just random items just when you use it. Sometimes the golden chest will obviously have items. Sometimes the red chest will have items. There's a reasonable chance that it's decent, but there's also a reasonable chance that you just get nothing. Which kind of sad, but what are you going to do? I'll go in there in a second. I want to find my shop first. So far, we've only found our arcade room. Now I want to find that shop. want to get them soul hearts. want to get them items. I'm actually going to use that. And I'm going to blow some stuff up over here. Maybe these mushrooms contain hidden treasures. Obviously, they might contain, like, those things as well. That's going to be good because I want to see where I have to go. Greed means we get some money. Wait, is this space? Is this case one? No, it's case two. All right. I'm actually further than I thought I was. <laughs> I was really confused for a moment. I was like, huh, that doesn't happen in case one usually. But that's right. It doesn't. It actually does not. And there's a tinted rock over here. So all in all, pretty good shop. Not bad. Was going to buy, sh like... A soul heart from there anyway, so the fact that we got one effectively for free. I mean, we have to use a bomb, but other than that, it's not like we're lacking on bombs right now. We got a whopping four bombs. Practically rich. Now we got six. We pretty, pretty much doubled up right there. Don't need that. And yeah, all in all, I'm not, not too sad about life right now. Things are going pretty great. Pretty happy about that. We might actually survive. We might actually survive this godforsaken run. Who knows? Either way, I'm going to be looking for more teleportation cards because I want to teleport out of that boss rush. Get myself an extra item. That would be very nice. This was a bit sketchy, but the hollow dies in like two hits from any weapon in the game, so it doesn't matter too much. Stem cells. Oh, my. Oh, my. Would you look at that? Isn't that just amazing? So, we just beat the challenge. Uh, there's really not much else to say. I mean, the odds of us actually dying at this point are, like, fairly low. <laughs> I have a reasonable suspicion that we will survive this day and that we will become victorious at the end of this particular challenge. I have high hopes and I have good feelings. And I'm going to blow up some skulls. And hope that I'm actually hitting all of the skulls and hopefully actually getting something or just enemies. That's kind of cool too, I guess. We tried. Brimstone's just so good though. You can't just say no to Brimstone, especially in a challenge. Especially in a challenge, because in a challenge, I'm just like, I just want to beat it. I don't want to redo this. <sighs> Game. What are you doing? Why are you making me so strong? You are making it ridiculous again, game. And while I personally don't mind, it makes the challenge a little bit trivial, doesn't it? I can hardly just say, no, I'm not going to pick up all these great items for the sake of the challenge when my health is not so great. But this is, I mean, that's a lot of flies we got right now. That's a lot of flies. We're not going to die with this many flies, surely. And if we die, we got eight more chances. The odds are pretty stacked in our favor right now, game. You can slow down now. I think we got it going on pretty good right now. And we're going to survive this. Another greed, but it don't matter because we're just destroying worlds. 74 coins in a challenge. That seems weird to me. Gimpy because, you know, every, every curse room needs to have some items in it. Otherwise, it would be unfair. I guess we probably don't really need that hangman card anymore. 
because we're already flying and therefore it becomes pointless. But still, it, it does give us good memories of when we didn't have such a good build. So, you know, we got that going. Can we get a teleportation card of some description? Please? Emperor? Yeah, like that, but not quite like that because that's a waste. I kind of want to keep an Emperor card. <laughs> if I could find another Emperor card, I guess I might do it, but... Uh, that one maybe? High Priestess? I mean, it's not bad, but... I'll take it, I guess. Why not? Bonga Bombs, Boga Bombs, there's option. <laughs> Let's just buy everything. Why not? Why not? Let's just clear out the rest of this floor, see if we can find some more skulls. See if we can find some cool stuff to blow up and get some cards from. Justice. Not really much of anything, but still, we got a lot of good stuff out of that. Whoops. <laughs> Meant to open that. I truly did. Monster number two. More like, I have a lot of flies and you're instantly dead. Hmm, I'll take that one because that's three soul hearts. Plus it's luck up. Plus these skulls might have something. Or not. Or not indeed. Well, we tried. Now we got one more floor to go before we reach Miss Ma'am. And perhaps we will be able to beat her before the boss rush starts. It's also kind of tempting to just die at the boss rush because well for one i don't really feel like doing the boss rush and we got we got so many lives and we don't actually have that much health right now so it wouldn't like matter too much if we died at the boss rush i'm considering it i don't know if we find a better option like that then uh, never mind everything i just said became instantly pointless because we got a moon card that solves all of my problems. Good stuff. Because yeah, but yeah, it, it really wouldn't matter if I died at the boss rush because I would just teleport to the room outside because we got that nine lives going on. We, we, we can't die. And if we do die, we still don't die. Every, every die is a lie right now. Every die is a lie. And as such, we will be victorious. I'm just gonna buy all these things, whatever. The jar! Sharp plug. <laughs> That's a strange combination of items to be selling, but all right. Sharp plug, gonna be pretty useful when I wanna recharge my uh, paw. <laughs> you know, it happens. Every now and then my paw is out of battery. Need some juice. We're gonna juice it up good. I don't need that. I don't need that at all. That's not gonna do anything, most likely. Let's bomb these final couple skulls and then call it a day. See how mom feels about it. Bertho. I'll leave that there for now and hope that I actually remember to pick that up. Boom. Try it again. And you're dead. We're gonna get the Polaroid. We're gonna get whatever this is. Goat head? Sure, actually. That's not that's fine. And deck of cards. Oh yeah. Let's get out of here. The cards kind of sad. That could have been like soy milk and just ruin our day, but still it wasn't, and therefore it was a good plan. Get that. Also, we couldn't see what our items were, so re-rolling it wasn't really an option either. Plus, that goat head made this possible. It stayed open that way. We can grab that, blow up this tinted rock, get this soul heart. Boom, bada boom, bada boom. We are super powerful. We ain't gonna die. Not gonna happen to us. We're just gonna come back better and stronger when we use our moon card to get out of that heck hole. Maybe we can use our Petro rune over here. That'll be cool. That's three red chests. That's too good. That's too good. <laughs> Can't really leave that over there. Wonder what those cards are. Maybe it's a Joker card. Maybe it's another uh, suicide king. I don't know if I should use another suicide. I mean, like, it's a bad idea, but it is kind of fun. That's kind of like. The yeses and the noes. Two hearts. I guess we're not using a Suicide King then. I guess not. That's kind of sad. I was hoping to use another Suicide King. Any any opportunity I have to use Suicide King is just exciting to me. Diamonds, sure. Give me some more Mun Muns. I don't need more Mun Muns, but we're going to get more Mun Muns. So what are we going to do? The sun? Sure. Show me where it is. Show me where the world lies. The world apparently lies to the left. Which, uh, you know, follows my own advice. I should have always gone to the left. The left is always the correct direction, as I've said at least once before. 
to a spade? Sure, give me that. Does that do anything? No. I always gotta check, but I know it's just Tiny Planet that does the thing that I have in my mind. Just Tiny Planet that makes that nice little loop with brimstone. Which is a shame, because I like it, but what are you gonna do? Mamma Gertie. More like Mamma did. Uh, yeah, that's, that's just too good to leave alone. And Krampus. What are you gonna give us, Cole? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I think that that's fine, actually. That's that's good. So what do we got left? We got ourselves a mom fight. We got ourselves a Satan fight, I do believe. Ooh. 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 Ooh, yeah. There we go. Now we got the winning ticket. Now we got what we need to survive. If we had sad bombs, it would be like the ultimate build, but in... It's, it's, it'll have to do. Tempted to just Emperor, but I, I should just keep the Emperor for the bad place with the bad people because that's where it'll hurt the most if I don't have it. But it's not, like, we're not gonna die. We're, if, I, if I die now, I'm just gonna give up on making Isaac videos because at that point I will have just failed. With a build like this, all I have to do is just let go of like the attack button every now and again. That's it. That's the run. <laughs> That's the run I have in front of me right now. I'll take those. I'm just gonna do it, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Boom. Mom and Mama just died. And we were pretty much going in the exact wrong direction all the time. <laughs> As per usual. We were pretty close to the right direction, though. Like, we ran out of options. And indeed, we're going to Satan, who is hiding out somewhere over here. Why am I not going left? Left is always the right direction, as I've said so many times. I need to follow my own advice more. Otherwise, I just seem like one of those scammy scammers that just says a bunch of words. That's very tempting. I guess we're going to kill some more enemies, you guys. We're never going to run out of those. At some point, I should... Like use my uh, guppy's paw, and I did because it's good. If we could find a broken remote, that would make the run even more hilarious. Because then we just teleport all over the place. Because the broken remote just teleports you to room, just a room, whenever you use an item. And guppy's paw counts as being used every time you press the button. And you just teleport away, teleport your little socks all over the world. And I shouldn't have gone left. I knew I shouldn't have gone left. I know better than to follow my own advice, but here I am. Winning in the wrong direction. I just said winting. That probably means something completely different than what I used it for, but there you go. Winting. That might give the devil deal item. That's actually not bad. There we go. And a black heart as well. Take that. I'm gonna push this. Oh, right. <laughs> That's how black hearts work. I was just like, I'm gonna push that to the door and have a good old time, but nope. Couldn't be the case, could it? It can never be that easy. Going back to the start, because going up was the wrong choice as well. Watch it just be right. Watch it be right from the start. And uh, I just shouldn't have changed my mind. I was one of those people that... I mean, come on. I was one of those people that changed their mind while they were in line at the supermarket. They were like, I'm going to go to that cash register instead. And it turned out to be the wrongest idea they ever had in their entire lives. Although this is actually looking pretty good. Maybe I shouldn't have gone right indeed. <laughs> I mean, this is just ridiculous. I actually got Tommy's head as well to just finish this combo. It's that's just mean. I think you just feel bad for Satan. I stole that from a comment, but still, it, it's 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 a valid comment though. Like, what what is he gonna do? He died instantly. We might actually skip a phase how much damage we did. No, we didn't. Oh, well. That, that, like, really rarely happens. Like, if you use the Chaos card, it works, but... Eh, well, whatever. We got the Rune of Degas. And there's another challenge completed. And there's one more challenge less to do. And we're really starting to run out of those. We only got, like, five, six left. I think six, yeah. So that's not bad. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.